Hello everyone and welcome once again to another episode of my online lectures. Okay, so this lecture or this episode is still part of a series of lectures that I'm doing for integral calculus. Okay, so uh, in this episode, our topic is about solids of revolution. Okay, so this is an interesting topic because uh, it's an application of uh, the definite integral. Okay, so last time, ang application na diniscuss natin is about plane areas. This time, what if the plane area is revolved about an axis? So that plane area will generate a solid. And our interest in this episode is to determine that solid. No? or the volume of that solid of revolution. Okay, but before I proceed to our topic for today, isang shout-out muna sa aking uh, uh, friend and former colleague in UST, ano, si Ma'am Kani at saka si Sir Pip. Congratulations once again kasi nagkaroon na sila ng baby finally. And yung baby nila actually magto two months na, si Natheris at saka si Tadea. Yeah. Okay, so congratulations Ma'am and Sir and hope to see you again very soon. Okay, so... Now, let's uh, get to the topic. No? So, as I was saying, ang topic natin is about solids of revolution. No? So, why do we call this a solid of revolution? Because that solid is actually formed when uh, a plane area is revolved around an axis. No? So, if we revolve the plane area about an axis, it will create a solid. And that is why we call it a solid of revolution. Okay, so to, to demonstrate, Kung paano ito nangyayari, <coughs> consider this graph. The graph of a certain function y equals f of x. Ito siya. No. Now, uh, uh, there is a certain area under the graph of f of x. So, ito yung area niya ngayon. No? So, that area, marunong na tayong kumuha niyan. No? Uh, sisiw na yan, mani-mani na lang yung pagkuha ng area na yan Ngayon, uh, what if itong area na ito, pinaikot natin about, uh, for example, the x-axis Okay? So, pag umikot yan sa x-axis, therefore, mag-generate siya ng solid Okay? Solid, no? So, para bagang ganito So, if a plane area is rotated about an axis, it will generate a solid And once again, no? In this video, our goal is to obtain the volume of this solid no? So, ano itsura ng solid kapag ka itong area na to umikot sa x-axis? Eh, di ganito po O, tingnan ninyo So, makakaform siya ng ganitong solid no? Yung kulay violet na yan no? So, of course, it's not hollow because it's solid Now, again uh, our uh, goal is to obtain the volume of this solid. Now, to obtain that volume, i-isolate ko muna tong uh, volume na to. No? And, gumawa tayo ng isang differential area element. No? So, uh, yung tinatawag natin na strip. No? So, more formally, we call it the differential area element. Na, alam naman natin na may length at saka width. Ang length niya, of course, is y. No? So, if this uh, differential area is here, then its height here is still y no the value of the function y at this point now it's there okay so the height of the rectangle here is the value of the function y at this point okay and its thickness of course is the differential of x okay <coughs> now kapag ka umikot ang strip na to di ba iikot yung area no so imagine this strip Revolving about the x-axis, what will be formed? No, makaka-form tayo ng isang ganito. Okay? Para bagang ano siya, piso. No? So, we call this a disk. No? A disk. Okay? So, this method is actually one of the three uh, methods of obtaining the solid of revolution. Okay? So, this is the first method. We call this the disk method. Sulat natin. No? <coughs> Why do we call this the disk method? Because uh, when the differential area element revolves about this axis, it generates a disk. <coughs> now, <coughs> itong disk na ito, uh, kukuna natin siya ng differential volume. Now, so what is now the differential volume of this disk? Okay? I-isolate natin siya para hindi magulo. No. So this disk can be a uh, uh, compared to a cylinder. It's actually a cylinder, no? Na may thickness na dx at may radius na yung radius niya dito which is yung y. 
Okay? Cylinder yan, no? O, ganito. Para maging kamukha siya ng cylinder, gawa tayo ng cylinder. Okay? Yung cylinder mo ay may radius na R at may height na H. Okay? So, i-rotate natin siya ng konti para magkamukha na talaga sila. Okay? So, ito yung radius niya. So, dito sa cylinder na to ang radius niya is Y. At yung height ng cylinder is now your thickness dx. Okay, but from our knowledge of uh, uh, geometry, we know that the formula for finding the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. No, alam na natin yan no? sa formula sa geometry. And thus, we can now determine the differential volume for this particular uh, differential volume. Okay? Compute natin o isulat natin ngayon yung differential volume niya. Okay? So, for this cylinder, the differential volume is pi multiplied by its radius. No? Ang radius niya is actually y. Pi y squared. And then, yung h niya dito is yung thickness niya na dx. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung kanyang differential volume. No, o oh, ayan, copy paste ko lang pi y squared dx. But in reality, this uh, solid is made up of infinite number of uh, infinitely thin disks. No, this is just one of the infinitely many disks that make up this. Okay? So lagyan natin dito ng halimbawa tatlo, no? These are just three of the infinitely many disks that make up this solid. No? So, to get the total volume of the solid, I have to add the volumes of the infinitely many disks. And that can be obtained, of course, by means of integration. No? So, kung i-integrate natin itong uh, dalawa or equation na ito, integrating both sides, we will get the total volume here. No? So, the total volume is now pi times the integral of y squared dx from x1 to x2. Okay? So, ang ating limits of integration ay x1 at saka x2. Alin yun? Okay? Uh, ito po sila. No? So, mula sa point na ito no? hanggang sa point na yun. Okay? Dito. Now, uh, yung x1 is the value of x at this point and x2 is the value of x at this point. Okay? So now, since here, the variable of integration is dx, we need to express this y in terms of x. Okay? So this y must be expressed in terms of x. Okay? So kung yan ay isang problem, y is equal to something. No? In terms of x. Yun lang yung ilalagay mo and then, ii-square mo na siya. Okay po? So ayun lang. Madali lang. <clears throat> So, kinakailangan lang tandaan mo yung formula ng differential volume. No? Actually, lalagyan ko siya ng generic formula dito. No? Generic formula ng differential volume. dv. So, that's pi times r squared. And then, yung height nga na napakanipis, kaya differential height siya. So, pi r squared dh. So, to get the total volume, we just integrate. Pi times the integral of r squared times dh. Okay? Pi r squared dh. So, this r could be x or y depending on the orientation of your strip. No? So, if uh, in this case, nakita naman natin na yung r natin ay y no? at yung dh natin ay dx. No? So, if this uh, uh, disk uh, happens to be horizontal, then your dh would be dy. Okay? So, Ayan. Pero ito yung generic na formula for finding the volume. Now, this could be x or y. This could be dx or dy. Okay? So, that's it. Meron na tayong isang formula. So, this is the first of the three methods. The disk method. So, now let's discuss the second one. No? So, in this case, <coughs> magbigay ulit tayo ng graph. No? So, ayan. The graph of an arbitrary function, y is equal to f of x. Ngayon, uh, halimbawa, Uh, meron tayo ditong differential area element, kagaya nung kanina, yung strip. No? So, kung dito sa iikot, sa x-axis, kagaya lang nung kanina, disk method yon Okay? So, we use the disk method if the differential area element is perpendicular to the axis of revolution. No? But what if the question tells us to rotate? Okay, so this differential area element has a length y, No? And a thickness, of course, just like before, dx. Okay? 
Now, what if this differential area element is revolved about the y-axis instead? No? Kasi kanina kung x-axis yan iikot, disk method yan. Eh, alam na natin yun. No? So, what if dito naman natin sa paikutin sa y-axis? Can you imagine what will happen? <coughs> okay. So, this, iikot siya doon. So, makikreate siya ng cylinder. Okay, ayan. So, cylindrical shell. Bakit shell? Kasi po, hollow yung loob niya. No, wala siyang laman. So imagine para siyang lata na butas, no? Butas yung taas, butas yung baba. Para siyang lata ng uh, sardines, halimbawa, or gatas na evaporated na Alaska, 'di ba? Tanggalin mo yung taas at saka yung baba, ganun siya. Okay? So ngayon, uh, kukunin muna natin yung differential volume ng cylindrical shell na ito. Knowing na siya ay hollow. Okay, so how do we get the differential volume of this cylindrical shell? I-isolate natin siya, no? I-isolate natin. So, ano ang dimensions ng cylindrical shell na yan? Of course, it has a radius, R, and a height, H. Okay, so walang area yung taas niya kasi nga hollow siya. Okay, but it has a certain thickness, DR, no? So, uh, sa illustration na ito, itong DR, that is actually your dx, no? And this height is your y. Okay? So, na makukumpit na natin ang differential volume ng uh, cylindrical shell na yan. No? Sulat natin, ha? Ano ang kanyang differential volume? Okay? So, for the differential volume dv, we have kunan muna natin siya ng circumference. No? Ano ang circumference ng ibabaw? So, that's 2 pi r. Okay? And then after that, uh, multiplyan natin ang height, oh, a, h, and then multiplyan natin ang thickness para maging uh, cubic yung units niya, dr. Okay? So we now have the differential volume for this cylindrical shell. That's just the circumference multiplied by the height multiplied by the thickness. Okay? So once again, this 2 pi r is your uh, circumference here. And then, uh, minultiply siya natin ang height. No? So, ngayon, ang dimension niya, naka-square na yan. Since ito ay volume, dapat cubic. Kaya, multiply natin ang uh, thickness para siya ay maging uh, cubic units. Okay? So, now, uh, again, to find the volume of that, uh, the entire solid, it's made up of infinite number of uh, cylindrical shells na may infinitely thin thickness. Infinitely thin. No? cylinders okay and to obtain the total volume we just integrate both sides now integrate mo lang yan now <coughs> uh, itong r na to pwede natin siyang palitan ng x bakit po kasi from here to there that is just the r the, the arbitrary distance of this differential area from the axis of revolution so uh, this differential area could be here no it could be there So, kung nasaan man siya, gaano siya kalayo mula sa axis? That's arbitrary. That's why we represent it in terms of x. So, that is why r is equal to x. And this height, no? So, pag tinignan mo yung drawing, itong height na to, ito lang yun, y. Okay? So, that, that h will be equal to y. And of course, this dr, no? Uh, can be replaced by dx. That is why we can now have the formula for the differential volume, no? 2 pi xy dx, no? So, ito yung r, ito yung h. Ay, rh? Oh no, red horse. <laughs> 2 pi rh dr. So, we replaced r with x. We replaced y or h with y. And we replaced dr with dx. Okay? So, ganun lang po kadali. No? To get the total volume, we integrate both sides. So, now... The total volume is equal to 2 pi times the integral of x, y, dx from x1 to x2. Okay, so the limits of integration is x1 to x2. So now, uh, nasaan yan sa drawing? Ito yun. Here we have x1, y1. So ito yun, value ng x. no? And here we have the second point. no? Kukunin mo yung x2. Sir, bakit po x yung ginagamit, hindi y? Kasi po tayo ay naka dx. No? Our variable of integration is x. That's why we will be using x1 to x2. But if in case this is dy, because your differential area is horizontal, no? lagay tayo ng drawing dito. No? So in case na ang iyong strip, 
ay horizontal, so makakaroon ka ngayon ng dy. Ayan. So, if this is dy instead of dx, then that will be from y1 to y2. Okay? Halimbawa, kukunin mo yung y1 dito. So, ito yung lower value ng y. y1 to y2. Okay? So, madali lang. Okay? This is the second method. No? So, cylindrical shell method. Now, puntahan natin yung pangatlo. Now, circular ring method. So, kina kailan tayo gagamit ng ring method? O, halimbawa, meron tayong graph ng uh, dalawang functions. Ito yung una at ito yung pangalawa. Okay? So, kita naman natin na uh, <clears throat> meron tayong area na ma-form in between them. No? May area yan. Okay? Now, halimbawa, gumamit tayo ng isang uh, vertical na strip. No, ito yung ating differential area element. Okay? Na pwede nating lagyan ng uh, length na y at saka thickness na dx. Okay? Na kung dito sa iikot sa y-axis, ang mafo-form niyan, ang uh, mafo-form siya ng cylindrical shell. Kung dito sa iikot sa y-axis. No? But what if dito natin sa iikot sa x-axis? No? Pag dito sa umikot sa x-axis, iikot tong strip. No? So, makikita natin itong part na to hollow. Butas yan. Pero dito, nag magkakaroon ulit ng reflection. Ito, magkakaroon ng reflection dito. Sige, gawa natin ng reflection itong area na to sa ilalim. No? Pag umikot sa about the x-axis. So, ito yung reflection ng area. No? So, kapag ka ito, nagkaroon ng reflection doon, form tayo ng isang napakanipis na disk. Kaso nga lang yung disk buta sa gitna. No, kaya ang tawag natin sa kanya is circular ring. Okay? So, gagawa natin ito ng differential volume. No, ano nga yun ang differential volume ng circular ring na ito? Hindi parang disk din. No? Pi r squared dh. ba diba? So, if you recall, yung ating formula kanina ng uh, differential volume is pi, that is r squared dh pero ito may butas eh di uh, volume ng malaki minus volume ng maliit no so ito yung outer radius niya at ito naman kabila ang kanyang inner radius okay so kunin mo yung volume with an outer radius r no and then kuhanin mo yung differential volume with a uh, inner radius small letter r pag minusin mo sila yun ay yung volume ng ring okay so computein natin yan ngayon no So, meron tayong outer radius dito. So, from here, halimbawa, that is your capital letter R. And to there, that is your small letter R. Okay? Ano ang differential volume niya? Of course, the differential volume would be pi R squared. No, capital letter R. It should be capital letter R. Pawiin ko na sila lahat. Pi, capital letter R, squared. Okay. Multiplied by the thickness. Okay. Gaano ba kakapal ito? Ito yung dh. No? Pi R squared, dh, minus, isa pang pi, and then R squared, dh ulit. Okay? So now, uh, itong dh naman na to, pwede nating palitan na lang ng uh, dx. No? Makikita naman natin yan. Kanina, ayun. Yung... Uh, Thickness niya is dx. So, this dh can be replaced with dx. So, now, uh, the differential volume for uh, a single circular ring is given by this. Pi times r squared minus r squared dx. So, uh, to get the total volume of the solid, we just integrate. No? And since pi is a constant, pwede natin siyang ilagay sa labas ng integral. So that's pi times the integral of r squared, capital letter r squared, minus small letter r squared dx. Now, uh, the limits of integration is from x1 to x2. Nasan po yun? Ito siya. No? So, so here, we have your x1. Point 0.1, point 0.2. Yung intersection nila. So, dito ano ang value ng x? At dito, ano ang value ng x? Again, why do we use values of x? Because the differential or uh, the variable of integration is x. So, once again, if this is dy, we will use y1 up to y2. Okay? So, ganun lang kadali. Now, ano ba itong r na ito? r is the outer radius. And this is small letter R is your inner radius. So, para malaman natin kung ano yan, tanggalin ko muna tong ring na to, ha? Okay. So, this capital letter R is actually uh, 
the radius from the axis of revolution to this point. And this differential area is bounded on top by the upper curve. Okay? So, kung isusulat ko dyan yung upper curve, ito yun, no? Y upper. Tapos, gawin kong ito yung Y lower. Ayan. So, that means that uh, capital letter R no, is just your upper curve. And this small letter R, since the differential area is bounded, no? At the bottom part with uh, or by YL, yung R na maliit ay equal lang sa YL. Okay? So, sulat natin dito ha. Yung R na malaki ay equal lamang sa upper curve. At yung R na maliit ay equal na lamang sa lower curve. No? So, kung anong given dyan, Y as a function of X. No? And also for this YL, Y as a function of X, yun yung ilalagay natin dito. No? So, Y upper squared minus Y lower squared and then DX. Okay? So, that's it. Yun na. Okay? So, now we're able to discuss the three uh, methods of obtaining the volume of a solid of revolution. Okay? So, let us have a recap. The first one is the disk method and that is used whenever your uh, differential area element is perpendicular with the axis and at the same time, it touches the axis. Now, if your differential area or strip is parallel to the axis of revolution, you will form a cylindrical shell. Okay? And lastly, if your uh, differential area is once again perpendicular to the axis but that does not touch the axis. Now, in this case, hindi perpendicular siya pero hindi siya nakalapat dun sa axis of revolution. Ang ginagamit natin is circular ring method. Okay? So, in the next episode, magsasolve tayo ng mga example problems na gumagamit ng tatlong methods na ito sa pagkuha ng volume. Okay? See you in the next episode. Bye!